Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today we're trying to answer the question. Why does it say pepper jam when there is no pepper jam? I swear to God, one of these days I I I just kick this piece of shit. Uh, first thing to do is make sure that there's actually no paper. Uh, when you when you have a fight with a paper jam, you might tore some part of paper and that may be still in it. Oh, there's some debris. Also, when you print the labels, it's pretty common that the piece of label just fall off and oil stick inside the printer and uh, you want to eliminate that possibility too. So shut the printer off and uh, get a flashlight and uh, check everything inside. And uh, remove the paper tray and turn the printer upside down and uh, start checking underneath too. Uh, there are tons of tutorials, uh, some of them made by HP, some are made by other people to go through the process, so I'm not going to cover it in detail here. If their tutorial not working and uh, you're desperate, you can try this. Hold the printer upside down and uh, make sure you hand cover the scanner, not like me, I forgot to cover it. But you can see the piece of debris come out and just keep shaking it. Okay, hold it like this, uh, but uh, the debris is already gone, so if the printer is too heavy, you can use your legs. I'm sure HP will have a more elegant way of doing this. So if you already did a dance, it may not be the foreign object, it may be the sensors. Luckily, there are not lots of sensors in HP. There are two in the back. That is since the paper feeding. Uh, in the front, we have a door sensor and we also have a, a sensor measuring the position of the printhead. So let's say we have a piece of uh, paper here and uh, the uh, printhead cannot move to the left. So that's considered paper jam. The position of the printhead is measured by this piece of uh, clear tape. There are little tiny marks on the tape. So the printhead can sense it and uh, decide where, it, where the position is. So if the tape is dirty and the printhead think it cannot move to the left, uh -huh, paper jam. There's no sensor between here and here, so your attention should be paid to removing and discovering the foreign objects around this region. Now we can move on to the two sensors in the back. The first sensor is a tray sensor. It's very hard to find. It's on the left. And just uh, pull out and insert your paper tray and pay attention. You're going to see it. Uh, the paper tray will push this lever inside and uh, then uh, mechanically the force transfer to the left and a uh, small lever will go outside. So you're going to check if you push the tray in, does the lever go forward? In, out, in, out. Looks good. You may ask why we check the tray sensor, but if you read the uh, error message clearly. The, it says, make sure the paper tray is installed properly. And I did see uh, that uh, this lever malfunction triggered exactly the same error message. And uh, you thought it's a paper jam, but actually it's about the tree. This lever assembly is totally over-engineered. And uh, you can see uh, there are lots of moving pieces. And just a little, if a piece is out of position, just a little bit, and that lever will not go all the way forward. And the lever is mounted on this piece of uh, electronic board. There are two slots. One slot is for the tree, another slot is for the paper ejection. We're going to cover next. Um, see, if the tree, tree lever moving forward, it will move out of the slot. So it will unblock the sensor. and. Uh, if it's not going forward completely 90 degrees, that will still blocking the sensor. That's one of the errors you might have. Of course, you might have a malfunction board. So if you check out everything physically, it's fine. It probably is the board. The second sensor is the paper ejection sensor. That's controlled by this lever in the middle. You can see if there's a piece of paper, the lever is going to raise, raise up. But when paper's gone, it'll snap right back. Let's check this printer that has the problem. 
and uh, that's in good position and uh, raise up come down raise up oh it doesn't come down sometime HP doesn't like people to mess our mess with their printers so if you want to keep this printer in the long run and uh, you need to invest in a pair of uh, screwdriver bits go to your local hardware store and ask for a T10 and T6 uh, just like this or you can just go to bchtechnology.com and you can print this page and bring to, print, print to your local store use your T10 remove 8 screws from the front this scanner hinge there's no trick to it and just a brute force push it to the front and it will snap off now remove 4 screws along the back border now you can loosen up the cover lift the left panel straight up it will come off and disconnect this big cable remember the blue side up and uh, now disconnect this little one blue side front now you can uh, remove the, the whole front panel uh, remove the duplex cover see that uh, black lever press the black lever to the left and uh, now you can remove the roller all we've done is trying to gain access to the, the paper eject lever now the only thing stop us is this piece of uh, metal on the top uh, still using T10 remove the four screws and now we're ready HP is so nice it's designed this little thing you can just hold down to it and pull it straight up and the cover will be right off Well, install just uh, press straight down and uh, until you hear a click if you need a replacement parts you can go to bchtechnologies.com and go to printer parts hp and pimper handling here are the two little springs that we're going to uh, talk about later and uh, here is the electronic board and uh, the PE sensor is uh, inside uh, this whole thing we just put them together it has a PE sensor everything so you don't need to reconfigure it if you only need a PE sensor we may have a listed sometime if we have we have in stock but uh, right now as uh, this thing has the PE sensor has the paper tray sensor and uh, the electronic board so uh, everything can be installed in one piece with the cover gun, the lever can be pulled out. I'm going to show you a good one first, and then we we'll compare the bad one. So the lever sits in the printer like this, and uh, go up and down, and uh, the tension is done by that spring. So the spring gonna load and unload for each page, and so that's a lot of times and may have a mental fatigue. So the good ones on the left and the bad ones on the right. You can see it on the right, it doesn't have that little hook. That piece of uh, hook broke off, and that's why sometimes it can catch the lever and uh, it, the lever can come down, but sometimes it can't. So that's why sometimes you get a paper jam, sometimes you don't have a paper jam. Uh, so without buying from BCH, you may uh, find something like a glue glue it or have a plier and rewire it. Now let's assume uh, the problem is not a PE sensor and we do have to access the electronic board and or the tree sensor. Disconnect the uh, big and small cables of a scanner and uh, lift the scanner straight up and uh, the scanner will come off flip over the printer and uh, you're going to see a tiny spring on each side remember the two tiny springs i show you on the pch website and uh, this is it it's kind of weird shape so remove those two those two springs are holding this white piece of plastic without the springs you can just snap the cover right off and again when you install to the opposite just snap it back 
Now make sure you watch the whole video. Uh, don't do anything yet. Watch the whole video for how to dis disconnect this part. Uh, flip your printer upside down again. And you're going to see the middle, there's a black part stick out like this. Okay, the grand plan is just to bend it like this and uh, snap it off. And the whole unit can be removed and uh, put it back and uh, then we'll print happily ever after. However, if you don't know how to snap it, you're going to break this and this part will be look like this instead of uh, look like uh, this. Let me remove the bottom of the printer and show you. So uh, this thing is stands, stays here. The uh, asshole that this thing is turning is stabilized on the whole black plate. Okay, see here, okay. And then here comes the, the little box it need to grab. It's grabbing with a hook in the back. So now I have an axle, and now I'm grabbing this little box. When we rotate forward, if we use an even force, this thing will not break, and it's easily grab and grab. The only time you can break it is you apply an uneven force because the whole blackboard is loose. So your axle may not be straight. So you might twist it a little bit. Then when you pull, it's kind of a twisted. And the one side get a more force than the other one. How about that? Snap it off like a boss. You can do it all day long. Uh, to install it, just offset. And slide it in in the axle first, then bend it backwards. Here I removed the bottom so there's nothing to stop the little box moving back. But in reality, there's a, a bottom to stop the box from moving back. So the box was sliding easily. Now you can take the whole board out by disconnecting the cable. And uh, you can access to the tree sensor and uh, you can uh, take the electronic board if you need to replace it or just swap in a new one. The installation is just reverse what we did and uh, I already covered a couple of uh, th things I want to emphasize when doing the installation. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this fix your problem. And uh, visit us at www.bch technologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. There was a time not long ago when printer cartridges were so expensive. So expensive. Then PCH came out to play. The quality cartridges saved the day. Oh, oh, oh. Technology.